Namaste. I am Dr. Ankita Dhelia, welcoming you back to the Stretch at Home series. Today we will see how to tackle fixed forward head posture. Now what is fixed forward head posture? When we are sitting at our laptops or focusing on something, watching television, we are mostly like this. The head goes forward, working on the laptop or we are doing something called a text neck, which means looking at our mobile phones in texting and the head is down like that. These things are called a fixed forward head posture. The correct posture is when the ears are in line with the shoulders. So research says that for every one inch the head comes forward, the load on our spine and neck increases by about 5 kgs. And depending on the time we are spending like this or like this, the load on our neck could be about 20 to 30 kgs. And this is what gives us a lot of stress in this region and this region. So let's see how to fix this. The first stretch is called the chin tuck, which means we just take our chin and take it back towards the chest. We are not doing it like this, taking the head back up or down. We are taking it parallel to the ground back. We keep going back till we feel a resistance from the back of our chair on our backs. And we just keep going back. And we can relax. This is something we can keep doing throughout the day in between our breaks of working on the desktop. Stretch number two is we take our palms and interlace the fingers and put it behind our heads somewhere here and we will bring our elbows close to each other and then open them. What a fixed forward head posture does is it rolls our shoulders in. So this is a good way to open the shoulders. After we have done this for two, three times, what we'll do is, we'll push our head with our hands and the hands with the head. So we are kind of opposing the head and hands towards each other, pushing them and offering a resistance. In this, we need not worry whether our elbows are open or closed. We just focus on the pushing, hold it for a while and relax. This can be done for about two or three reps again. Another issue the fixed forward head posture causes is shortening of the muscles in the front of the neck. So what we'll do is, we look a little obliquely, not completely to our side, not in the front, in the middle, somewhere around 45 degrees and we just take our head back, tilt it back and we'll feel a stretch here on a muscle called the sternocleidomastoid and relax and come forward and we repeat it on the opposite side, taking the head obliquely and leaning it back. Feeling the stretch here. Same, this can be also repeated for two to three times and this is something we can keep doing in between our breaks while working. Stretch number four, we'll keep our hands in a fist like we are ready to punch someone by the sides of our bodies and we'll take our elbows back so that we can open our shoulders and the elbows they also come close to the spine as close to each other we hold it for a moment and we can relax we can do it for about four to five repetitions stretch number five is just a modification of this where we do the same thing but the fists come in towards the spine from the sides instead of coming from the front. So this time we are punching people on our sides and the hands, the elbows will come close to each other and towards the spine to again open our rounded shoulders. And we can release same, we can do it for about four to five repetitions. The last one is the sixth stretch where we make a Y with our arms. We take the chin back in, tuck the chin towards the chest, not up, not down, just back in a plane parallel to the ground so that ears are above the shoulders, more or less. The hands are in a Y and we take our palms as much behind as possible. And hold and relax. Bring the arms down like the hands of a clock, chin tucked back, again the arms go back. As much back as we can. And relax, 
bringing it down a little more chin tucked back arms go back depending on the strain in our neck and shoulders it can be a little strenuous but when we do it for a few times it will become really really easy and a little more down chin back arms back and hold and relax so these are few stretches that can be done to release the stress load and tension around the spine shoulder and neck area enjoy doing them thank you